Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to another set of room builds for the mansion build. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can check out the whole playlist for this particular house uh, on screen or in the description down below. So today we're doing a combination because these two rooms uh, were a little bit smaller than the others, so I thought I'd put them together in one video. Today we're building the entrance to the secret bowling alley, which if you haven't seen the secret bowling alley build, oh, you gotta check that one out. That one was a lot of fun. So the idea was we have this secret underground room. Uh, that you have to access through a hidden bookcase, like a, a hidden doorway through the bookcase. And this is where the entrance is going to be. It's here in the home office. We've got this wall here. Behind it is the staircase that goes down. So today we're designing the room that that's all about. And that um, so that uh, statue just there on the left, I thought was absolutely ridiculous. And I wanted to place it in the room. But then I was like, you know what, even for me, even for me, I was like, that's that's too much. I was like, I can't, I can't even handle this. It's like, maybe we could put it in the bowling alley or something like that. But then, no, I decided I move it back. I don't, I, I don't know when I do it, but I move it back. So on the left-hand side there, that other bookcase doorway, because we've got two of them. We've got two hidden doorways. Um, I did a second one just because I wanted the room to look even so that it didn't look as sus. And the second one just goes to a one-by-one -one room with nothing in it. So I was like, okay, let's take that weird statue and put it in the one-by-one -one room. So if you somehow accidentally discover this hidden doorway, but you discover the wrong one, you're going to find that. And then, so here's the thing. Imagine if you accidentally find that, you'd be like, oh my God, this is, a <laughs> this is crazy. We've got this hidden room. As if you're going to go looking for a second hidden room, because you'd be like, there can't be two hidden rooms. So you wouldn't even think about that. So I was like, okay, that's it. That's what we do. We've got the hidden room, the decoy hidden room. And that's that. <laughs> that. That sits in there looking pretty fun. And then the rest of this room is essentially, you know, what you'd expect from a home office. We have a desk. Uh, and then I was trying to figure out, again, what to do with the walls, whether I go crazy or keep it pretty pretty tame. And I think in the end, the walls are pretty pretty normal. <laughs> like, there's nothing too crazy about it. Uh, but this room uh, has the family computer. And then we do, like, a lot of books and storage and all that. And then, like, a little reading nook as well. Uh, so I decided to use... I think I think I kept the columns in here. So it's actually really interesting going back and watching uh, these sort of rune build videos, even for me, because I... Re well, first of all, I remember certain things that I did, and I'm like, oh my god, I remember that. But then also, I'm like, what did I do about that? Um, I actually really love these chairs as well. I love the patterns on them. They're, they're really nice, but I don't... They don't always work exactly how I want. Actually, I think they don't they have the, the pink and... Min minch? I was about to say minch. And I didn't mean to say pink either. I meant to say peach and mint. I said pink and minch. The, the peach and mint color scheme. Because I think I remember using... Yeah, that one there. I, re I used that... Oh, it's not so much mint. That's more like a teal. No, actually, it's more like aqua. I don't know. Anyway, I remember using that. Uh, that specific chair. I think it was in the, the Tudor Mansion build. The Delhi built and then I furnished. I think it was in that one. God, that was a big house to furnish. I don't. Why did I ever agree to that? That's the like, that's the biggest house I ever furnished. Okay, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Anyway, back to this room. So this is actually kind of difficult because it is a small room, but it's also like I got to put stuff in here that uh, you know makes sense. Like I I don't know why I did find this particularly difficult. Like it's such a small space. In the end, I just go with a little reading corner over here, and then I do. Uh, like sort of bookcases up on the wall and like shelving up on the wall. Uh, it was, I think it was challenging just because I wanted to, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to do with the space and I wanted to make this room into, but it is actually, it's a bit smaller than I would have wanted. But also we can't make it any bigger because we have to use that one tile for the, uh, for the, the staircase. It takes up a little bit of the room, but you know, we're able to get a few little bits and pieces in here. And I think it actually turned out quite nice in the end. And, oh god, I love that lamp, that sort of industrial lamp, but I was like, there's no way we can use it in this build. Actually, that was one thing that was kind of annoying in this build, was because of the um, the style that we're going for with it. The all, the all the lamps that we can use look so bad, especially the floor lamps. Like, none of them, none of them have the right style or the right color. Like, they might have the right style, but they won't have the right color, or they have the right color, but the style is completely wrong, and I'm like, also, I don't know what the hell I was doing right here. Don't even worry about it. I was just like, I was doing stuff. I was like, let's put ivy on the wall in this thing. Let's do a green wall, which incidentally, I think would work well in a like a contemporary or like a modern build if you sort of incorporated that, like get some inner indoor greenery going along. But I was like, in this particular build, there's no way that can work. I was like, that's just not going to happen. I'm sorry, that did, that just can't happen. That cannot happen. Uh, so I, I got rid of it and, and moved on from there. <laughs> 
but yeah uh, oh there we go so I, I think that's when i was like i gave up because it took me so long to do that right so that's why i stopped recording and i was like okay i gotta stop recording because i know when we watch this later it's not gonna be great so i just did a shelf there and i raised up a lot of items with move objects we got some fun items we got like the bowling ball up there as well which i thought was a fun little uh a little hint to the room down below we've also got the duck what the duck yeah that's right we got it and uh, then just putting a couple of little things over there. And I think the room turned out really nice in the end. Like, it, it is... It's definitely a closed off space. It's not supposed to be somewhere that everyone congregates or, or like, you know, or whatever like that. So we kept it pretty intimate and pretty pretty closed. You just got a bunch of books and a little... I think I think I do a second... Do I do a second chair there to join it? So you can have two... You can at least read with someone. Or is it just the one? I honestly don't remember. You know what? We'll have to watch and find out together. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, so a lot of these, I really love, like, all those sort of um, nice little shelving side units and all that. But the problem is, they either all have, like, plates and dishes in them, or they have, like, towels and, and like, laundry and clothes in them. There's, like, none of them that are just, like, I don't know, like, little ornaments or storage things or that just look like a shelf that could be anywhere. They're all either, like, kitchen or, like, uh, like laundry or bathroom stuff. I'm like, man, it'd be, it'd be nice to... Uh, to have some more of those things. Or have more shelves that look like that, that we can actually just place any item on that we want. Anyway, moving on, we're going to be doing the uh, baby's room now. So at the moment in the family, uh, we have a baby named Lord. And I figured I'd just shove this in this video because I, I didn't want it to go to waste. But this room is really, there's not much happening in here. It's basically, I don't even think, do I even do a bed? I don't think I do. I think I place the bed so I can design the room for it. Because the thing is, we're not even using a bed yet. He's still a baby, so... For babies, there's really nothing you can do. There's, like, all they need is a cot or a crib, and then that's it. Not even a cot. It's like, a little, like, like the little bassinet, actually. It's, yeah, neither a cot or a crib. Yeah, that's all they have, and then that's all they do, and that's all you need. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll try and design the room for when he's a toddler. Um, so I used this bed. I think I, yeah, I used this bed and then sort of designed it like a beach or like a sort of boat kind of place. I was like, that'll be a bit of fun. We'll sort of play around with that, and then then we'll just get rid of that and put the put the little bassinet in there, and that'll be it. <laughs> and that'll be the end of that. Uh, oh yeah, that oh, yeah. So that rug that rug was kind of fun. I was like, so I use that because it almost looks like uh, the ocean floor or something like sand, and you got like little water bubbles over it. I was like, it actually looks kind of cool, like for a toddler's room. Um, I think that'd be a bit of fun. Uh, but that's uh, that's pretty much all I did. And then I think I put like the do we get the dollhouse in there? I don't know if we do. I even keep that in there. I I feel like we don't have a dollhouse in this house. Because I tried to put one in, but I don't recall it ever actually being able to fit anywhere. No, I see, it didn't even go in there. It's kind of sad, because that was one of my Sims' favorite things to do, was to go and play dolls all of the time. So it's a bit unfortunate that he doesn't have a dollhouse, but you know. Uh, oh, and I'm aware that the, uh, the bassinet is inside the bed right now, because I was just putting it there so I didn't forget about it, and I knew where it was going to go. So I, I do some really basic design, because... I, I don't know what we're going to want to do when he becomes a toddler. And we'll probably change up the room then anyway. And add a few different things or a few new things. So I kept it pretty simple. We just got a bookcase, a giant stuffed animal. Which, by the way, that giant stuffed dog would be creepy as hell. Because, like, I tried I tried to aim the eyes away from the bassinet and from where the, the child would be sleeping. But it's kind of staring directly at them. And I was like, that's going to be, that's going to, like, give you nightmares, right? That's going to it's gonna scare the hell out of you so you got this giant dog just like staring you down um yeah so i was trying to choose appropriate items like those, those little hanging pictures and that on the wall like the photos i really really like but i'm like uh, well first of all a baby won't have that second of all a toddler won't have that um i mean like the parents could have set it up but I, I don't know why they would like especially something that lit up like that i don't think you would give your child that I kind of just chucked a few items on the floor and then I tried to do a nice little arrangement here with the photos to give it at least some little aspect of intrigue. And I, I think it's, I, I was trying to, I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to like line them up in an interesting way, but for some reason I couldn't figure it out. Like I was just trying to do that. <laughs> it took me so long to figure that out. Like I didn't know what I was trying to do, but that is, I think that's pretty much the, um, the toddler's room there. Or well, I guess the baby's room. It's not even a toddler's room. Uh, that is it. That's, that's all there is. And, uh, I guess we'll jump into the game. We'll check out the, uh, the office and the room, uh, and see what they look like. 
So here we are in the office, in the secret door with this weird statue. So that's the uh, that's one of the secret doors uh, there on the left. So yeah, here is the home office. We had a little bit of fun with the rug. I thought that'd be a little bit of color and spice to bring into the room. But um, yeah, so this is what the, the sort of shelves look like in the end. We got a couple of filing cabinets off there to the right with all the books lined up on top, which took me ages. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it turned out quite nice. Like it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy, but I think it really, really works. It also obviously serves mostly as the entrance to the secret bowling alley, which if you don't go through the wrong secret door, which is that one, you go through the right secret door, which coincidentally is the right hand door. You actually come through to these stairs and go down to one of my other, I just go down to you, to one of my other room builds, which if you want to see that, you should go watch the secret bowling alley room build. Uh, but yeah, so this is the, the home office just here. Then we also did the baby's room, which I think coincidentally is right above us. Oh, that would have been more dramatic if I was actually up on that level. So sorry about that. But yeah, so this is the baby's room. Again, it was nothing too special, but it was nice to be able to include it in a video here. So I think later on when he actually ages up to a toddler, we'll be able to do a little bit more with the space, add in the bed, add in some more usable items. But for now, we got like a tablet and some blocks on the floor. Also got the monster light there blending in and the clothes hamper. Also got a built-in wardrobe, which I think is the only child in this house to have a built-in wardrobe. All the others have uh, separate ones. Yeah, that is that. That is that for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. We've got, I think, the teen girls bedroom and teen boys bedroom as the next video is coming up. I think it's the girls first and then the boys. So stay tuned for those. But until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.